In this user guide, we'll be taking a look at how to use Pocket's logger function. So I've got a Pocket Meter and a Pocket Pro connected here. And we'll start by pressing the measure button at the top right here. Next, we'll select Logger, and now we're in Logger mode. So we'll start off by looking at this mode button over here on the right. So Pocket is able to log temperature, voltage, and current. So you can select that over here on the left. This unit scroll wheel lets you select the unit range. So we've got voltage here that we'll be using for this demonstration. Um, and you can change the interval as well. So you can go from one second all the way up to 24 hours per reading. So we'll just keep it one second for now. And in voltage, you can change between DC and AC and the same for current. To begin logging, press the pocket button down the bottom right here. And that'll begin spinning. And you can see we're starting to get that log there. So we'll change this voltage a bit, make it go up, make it drop off. So you can see that going along there. So this works differently to the oscilloscope and then you can select how often that you want it to take a reading. And it can run over longer times as well remotely. And you can pinch and drag this as well. So if you want to zoom in, you can do that. And you can zoom out, zoom in, scroll along. And you're able to put cursors in as well. So you can put up to two cursors. You can move those along. And then you hold down again just to get rid of those. Okay, so we'll stop that. To save your log, you can press the save button over here on the left. So we'll switch into our Pocket Pro now and we'll start logging. So you can see it logging there. Since it's yellow, it's a little bit more difficult to see, but you can change that in the device's screen to whatever color you like. You can put it in full screen as well. So you can see that just logging there. off and press that pocket button again to stop and we will save that one as well so we can select this history tab over on the left here so you can see our two different measurements that we saved previously so you can press this i button on the side here to view those or you can select these check boxes and you can either delete those with the bin button or you can share those and save those to your phone. And that's how to use Pocket's logger function.